Yeah. Hi everyone and welcome to our vlog for Burning Man. Um, this is the first official day of Burning Man, so I wanted to give you like just some snippets of me bicycling around this morning. <laughs> so cool. And just all the fun things that happened today. Uh, a couple things that I didn't mention in this vlog was that we went to the Orgy Dome. So the Orgy Dome here is like a place where there's orgies. <laughs> and we wanted to see if we could help make it more like my friend who Raquel, who has been here before, says that it's like pretty performative, you know, like people who go, they they're really good at like consent, but not necessarily like connection. So the thing about the orgy dome is you have to come with someone into the orgy dome so people come with, like with their partner or with friends but then once you get in there apparently it's like pretty performative so we went over and asked and they said that we can come and volunteer so i'll update you more on that but other than that like burning man is epic like this is my third day here and um the first official day of the burn starts today at 6 p.m we're gonna go to a stag dance and I, it's like literally more magical than you could ever imagine. Like it's very hard to describe. Uh, it's a whole experience. Once you get here, everything is free, and everyone is just so kind. And there's seventy thousand people coming, so it's like, it's not a small thing, right? <sighs> so I'm super excited. Um, and one thing I wanted to share before I, I hop into the vlog is that <laughs> apparently there's something that Burning Man called Sparkle Ponies. It's like girls who come with like huge suitcases of outfits and they wear sparkles and they're pretty useless like and there's even like a jokingly like camps where you can like leave your sparkle pony like a girl who just goes crying and can't handle Burning Man because it is kind of survival mode out here sometimes when like the dust goes and it's sunny and it's hot and like even today I got a little overheated and I like was dizzy but uh, Raquel was joking that we are sparkle ponies but like the next generation because we're a bunch of girls who drove our own RV here from Reno <laughs> <laughs> and we're like functional sparkle ponies like we can get there get in here set up our camp do everything we need to do and also we look good doing it right so we have never been seen before we're a new species we're called functional sparkle ponies. Also, uh, something else I forgot to say is um, they forgot to put our our camp in the book. Like, there's an official Burning Man like booklet, and so I went to the radio station, and we're gonna get on the radio. Lovely visitors from Thailand showed up, and they have a story for you. Oh, thank you so much for having us. You know, they said it was never gonna rain again at Burning Man, and we woke up to it raining. <laughs> the rain's getting worse. We have some beautiful chai here. And then, oh my god, it's raining! It's raining! <laughs> What'd you say, Luna? It looks different, like sunny stones, <laughs> like rain, they have cold, <laughs> stink hot, like. <laughs> Like we prepared for, at least I prepared for it to be super hot, <laughs> but we did get gloves at the Walmart, so that's good. <laughs> We're gonna be super hot anyway. <laughs> We're gonna be super hot anyways. <laughs> so yeah, just updating you all that it is fucking cold out here. I have my boots, three layers of coat, and even some gloves. We're in the desert. It's raining, so they actually closed the entrance, so people can't get into Burning Man right now. Like the entrance has been closed all day. And there's a ton of camps that need to like set up their camp because Burning Man officially starts tomorrow. But the people who are coming to build, like we call this Build Week, they can't come into the camp because they closed the entrance because there's too much rain and the mud will make it so that the vehicles are stuck. <sighs> Burning Man Adventures. I'm just happy we're here and we're settled and we're just building our camp. And this is where our whole like tent is going to be where we're going to do the parties and everything. On 
the playa, which is like basically it's just a whole bunch of open sand. They call it the playa, is where all the art pieces are. And then everywhere around the playa is where everyone camps. And our camp just happens to be like one street over from the main playa. So it's like where all the art is, where they do all the parties. I mean, the parties happen at all the camps, but like we each have, each camp has its own art car that we build and it, they come out to the playa and, um, you know, they have fun things, they have parties. Our art car has a, a photo booth in it, which is super fun. I'll show it to you. But let me show you inside here. It's so cute. So it looks like they're still building it. But I think at nighttime, it's going to light up. <laughs> look, at that. look at how cool this is. And then they got little benches here so you can hang out. But yeah, I think they're still building it. But that's like the actual sky. <laughs> it's so beautiful here. So apparently how Burning Man started was a guy, this is the story. I don't know if this is real, but this is the story that I heard. Um, a guy in California uh, broke up with his girlfriend and he was really sad. And he went to the beach with his friends and he made a bunch of, he made like a stick figure of himself. And, and he said, this represents me and I'm burning this version of myself. And then the next year, like, you know, he brought more friends and the next year more friends. And then suddenly it became like a festival. Um, and it was too big to be contained on the beach in California. And so they moved it out here to the desert. Um, and now that's like, I don't know, over 30 years ago, 40 years ago, I think now. Don't ask me about the facts of all of this, but this is what I heard. <laughs> and so now they literally build a wooden man. So cool. And every year at the end, they burn the wooden man, the man. <laughs> and also the temple that I just showed you over there. And the temple is where you can go and put like all of your tokens for people that have died died like you can write letters to them you can bring stuff anything that's flammable that can burn like without hurting the environment you can bring <laughs> and they'll burn it at the end. So this is the art car, the art car inspection. So they have like their own DMV here at Burning Man and you have to, all the art cars have to line up to make sure they're working and everything's ready to go. Can you get a bite? <laughs> so cute. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, Papa Apple. Let's just toss these things in the back. <laughs> oh my god, this is so cool! <laughs> Pretty much okay. Don't touch this? Yeah, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> So we're about to go into the chai cam. Ooh. It's so cute. Oh, okay. cool. Aww, look at the teddy bear. <laughs> oh, it smells so good in here.
beautiful. Oh my god. I cannot tell you how much fun we are having. It's kind of hard to put into words. This is what I look like. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> I had a face mask on and glasses, but apparently the dust got through the glasses. Wait, wait, I want to do this.